Hello again, friends. This is Pastor Dave. I hope you are doing well. And as you can see, I am in my sweatshirt because uh, we are having some serious winter this weekend, aren't we? Uh, about to have some snow this uh, this weekend. And uh, I'm glad that uh, you have a, uh, a good shelter. And I hope you are all staying safe and warm and healthy as we are. We are very blessed to have our home and uh, have family, and uh, we are grateful to have you as friends as well. Well, we are doing a review of the first seven, um, seven to eight chapters of Romans because we were going slowly going through Paul's letter to the church at Rome when uh, the COVID pandemic. Um, stopped our regular services uh, last March. It's been almost a year. Next month, it will be a year that we've been in this uh, situation. And we pray that uh, the Lord will bring a, uh, a closure to this uh, situation. Uh, although we, we realize that it, it could be some months, uh, sometime uh, ahead yet. But um, Anyway, we are going through this book of Romans, and I've done three episodes just on chapter one, kind of an overview of chapter one. And if you recall, Paul calls himself an apostle for the gospel of Jesus Christ, for the good news of Jesus Christ. And we talked about what that was. And that sets up the, those early verses of Romans chapter one, set up um, the... Um, the importance of the gospel as the good news of Jesus Christ that has power and power to save. And so we asked the question uh, last week, uh, save from what? Well, we, we learned that in Romans 1, 18 uh, starts talking, Paul starts talking about God's wrath. And we talked about how God isn't some type of um, mean God that's arbitrarily looking to pick on people, but that uh, God's wrath or his revealed just anger toward people uh, comes about due to their rebellion against him. And Paul even says that God had revealed things about him, even the created world, the created universe, the stars, the, the life forms and everything that exist reveal God's eternal power and Godhead. So God has made himself known. He has, has revealed himself. He's not just a force. He has intentionally revealed things about himself. But people have refused to acknowledge that, even though, Paul says, even though they knew God, they did not glorify him as God neither were they thankful. So they did two things. They, they refused to acknowledge what God had revealed about himself, and they refused to be thankful. And instead, what they did was they did just the opposite of what God would want them to do. And as I mentioned, there are a whole list of things in the rest of Romans 1 of how people have reacted. It wasn't just people from time past, it's people today as well, who uh, live any way they want, and they, they live according to what they think, what, what they think is right and wrong, and uh, without any regard to whether God thinks it's right or wrong. And so it comes to the end of chapter one, when Paul says, these people don't just practice these things. They actually approve of others who do them. So that they, they like to see other people do the things that they're doing. Uh, I think probably because it, it justifies in their own mind that um, they're, it's okay or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, we're moving on to uh, Romans chapter 2, and I'm going to just give you a brief summary of what Paul covers in Romans chapter 2 and uh, more than half of Romans chapter 3. 
he goes on to say, I'm going to share some scripture and I will go ahead and read that to you in the first five verses of Romans 2 says, therefore, you have no excuse, O man, every one of you who does what? Judges. For in passing judgment on another, you condemn yourself because you, the judge, practice the very same things. We know that the judgment of God rightly falls on those who practice such things, do you suppose, O oh man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that the kindness of God is meant to lead you to repentance? But because of your hard and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. This, these first five verses are a summary of pretty much what he's saying in the next chapter and a half, and that is he's explaining uh, who uh, God's wrath is rightly uh, revealed against and who can escape it? And the answer to that second question is no one. Why? Because um, people, every everybody does one or more of those things he lists in Romans chapter one. To one degree or another, we are all uh, rebellious in some manner against God's holiness and God's righteous standard. And, and in fact, he says uh, later on in Romans chapter three, he says, there is none righteous, no, not one. And then in Romans 3, 23, he will write, for all have sinned, all <laughs> have sinned and are falling short of God's glory. So um, we, we have this chapter and a half about God's wrath and, and how we can't stand and point at somebody else and say, God's going to judge you. God's going to damn you. or God's going to bring his wrath against you because you're doing this. He says right here, if you stand in the position of judge, God's the, the, the true judge. God knows our motive, motives. God knows our thoughts, our words, our actions. And he says, what makes you think you're going to get by with with what you've done. You've done some of the same kinds of things that, uh, that the people who you judge have done. So you don't have any excuse. But here's where I really want to point out to you in this scripture, because we can read this and think, wow, this is really negative. This is really downer. This is, um, you know, we, we don't like to hear these kinds of things. But look at what it says right here in the middle of these few verses. Verse 4, or do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience? He's saying God wants to be rich toward you in kindness and forbearance and patience. And he says that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance. See, God is so patient and God is kind and God knows our situation. God knows that we are inclined to rebel, but he wants us to recognize what we've done wrong, recognize chiefly that he exists and understand that he has revealed himself and we should give him thanks. And so this gospel, this good news, is our means to escape. Because the, this chapter and a half is about how nobody, none of us, not somebody who's been to seminary, not somebody who's a pastor, not somebody who's got perfect Sunday school att attendance, 
not somebody who's got a certain level of education. None of us deserve to uh, avoid God's wrath because we have all fallen short of God's glory. We have all rebelled against him in some way or another. And God is the perfect judge. And so Paul is saying, you, you don't have any excuse. You don't have any escape apart from God's kindness and God's patience. And so that's where the gospel of Jesus Christ comes in, the good news of Jesus Christ. He's saying God has, has taken the appropriate and sufficient measure to help you avoid the judgment that is, is due us for our rebellion. And he says, my son, Jesus Christ, will take that judgment, that punishment for you in your place. You just have to trust in him. And so that is our only hope of escaping God's judgment. I hope that um, as you think about your own life, it's so easy for us to get into a comparison game to think, well, I was raised in church. I was raised in church and, and my, my parents were wonderful people in many respects. My grandmother was a very, uh, from a human perspective, was a very godly woman and very committed to her faith and her church. But she, if she were here today, she would say, David, you're, 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 she would, she would agree with what I'm sharing with you out of Romans. She would say that she wasn't good enough. And we got to be careful not to get into that comparison game, because when we do them, we start being judges of other people. And uh, God says, yeah, there's no room for that. There is absolutely no room for that. But God says, I want you to avoid the discipline that you're due. And so I am offering you the escape through faith in my son, Jesus. That is good news. That is the gospel. And it has power if you believe it. If you say, God, I am believing you. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe there's some areas of your mind where you question whether or not you believe it perfectly. Uh, give that to God. Give that to God. Um, I think it's just a matter of saying, God, I am trusting you about your son, Jesus, who he is and what he's done for me on the cross. And I believe that God will, will give you that forgiveness and that hope of eternal life immediately and permanently so that let's say you have a problem down the road where you realize, you know, I, I didn't treat that person very nice. And I think I failed again. And maybe, maybe God's not going to be patient with me anymore because I, I trusted in the gospel, but, but then I screwed up again. I messed up again. Uh, no, the, the, the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross covers it all. <laughs> now we should acknowledge those things before God that would, that um, that restores our fellowship with God when we realize we've done something wrong and we confess it. Um, the Bible tells us that in 1 John 1, 9, he says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so um, uh, it's, it's our fellowship then that is uh, broken when we are rebelling against God, even even. Uh, in the midst of our walk of faith. Well, uh, that's enough about that. And we're going to, we're going to uh, jump to Romans chapter three, verse 21 next week. And we'll talk about God's righteousness being revealed. And it's going to talk a lot more about that good news of Jesus. So I hope you will stay warm and safe and healthy and I hope that we get to see you all again soon. We pray for you. We love you. God bless you.